Hello, welcome to worship. I'll start with lighting some candles. We're gathered here today in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to worship together and think about our value of love. I've got some outlines of some hands here. That one's Michael's. And that one's Robin's. And that one's Faith's. And that one's mine. What do you notice about them? Well, they've all got the same shape. They've all got the same number of fingers. But can you spot any things that are different? One of those differences is the size. I think my hand's a bit bigger than Michael's. What do you think? I wonder, does the size of our hands determine what we can do with them? Hands are really useful. We can do all sorts of things with them. And we can pretty much all do the same things with them. I think maybe the bigger hand could get more of something. I could maybe take more sweets out of the jar with that hand than that hand. I'm not really sure. What do you think? One of the great things we can do is hold hands. Last weekend was... Father's Day. Don't know if you celebrated or recognised that at all or not, but it got me thinking about father's hands. I know when I was little, I liked to hold my dad's hand. And you may hold an adult's hand at times as well. It might make you feel good to hold that adult's hand. You might feel safe and loved and cared for or warm. I wonder how it makes you feel. Well, it got me thinking about a poem that's called Father's Hands by Paul Cookson. And I found a recording of it. So have a listen to it and see what it says about his father's hands. Father's Hands Large, like frying pans, broad as shovel blades, strong as weathered spades. Father's hands, finger ends ingrained with dirt, permanently stained from work, ignoring pain and scorning hurt. I once saw him walk boldly up to a swan that had landed in next door's drive and wouldn't move. The police were there because swans are a protected species but didn't do anything. But my dad walked up to it, picked it up and carried it away. No problem. Those massive wings that can break a man's bones were held tight, tight by my father's hands. And I was proud of him that day. Really proud. Father's hands, tough as leather on old boots, firmly grasping nettle shoots, pulling thistles by their roots. Father's hands, gripping like an iron vice, never numb in snow and ice, nails and screws are pulled and prized. He once found a kestrel with a broken wing and kept it in our garage until it was better. He'd feed it by hand with scraps of meat or dead mice, and you could see where its beak and talons had taken bits of skin from his finger ends. It never seemed to hurt him at all. He just smiled as he let it claw and peck. Father's hands lifting bales of hay and straw, calloused, hardened, rough and raw, building, planting, painting, more. Father's hands hard when tanning my backside. All we needed, they supplied. And still my hands fit inside. Father's hands large like frying pans, broad as shovel blades, strong as weathered spades. 
Still, my hands will fit inside. My father's hands. Did you hear what the father could do with his hands? Lifting up a kestrel with a broken wing very delicately, being really, really careful. Or lifting great big bales of straw really powerfully. Father's hands large like frying pans. And still his father's hands held his. His hands fit inside his father's gently and loving. Well, I've got a song to play to you. I'm not going to play it this time. It's a video of somebody else doing it. It's called Great Big God. I think you'll enjoy it. So have a listen to this. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. for you who is it who loves you your parents carers teachers would their hands be big enough and strong enough to hold up a skyscraper or a submarine or the universe or even our dreams Well, no one in the world can hold up those things with their hands. But of course, God can, as it says in the song. In the Bible, Psalm 146 tells us that God made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in it. 
For God to do this, he must be so much bigger than all of those things. With great big hands. Think about the amazing things you can achieve with your hands. Think about things that you have made or drawn or built. Now think how much more God can create with his hands. God made the world and everything in it. Just think for a minute how big those hands must be to do that. Think of a time when you've been safe holding an adult's hand. Think how safe that can feel. Think how safe it is knowing that God holds us in his hands. I'm going to say a prayer. Put your hands together, close your eyes and have a listen. Dear Lord, thank you for the abilities that you've given us. Thank you too for the adults in our lives who love us and keep us safe. Thank you that you love us and you hold the world in your hands. Thank you that we can always trust you. Amen. Keep loving one another. Keep looking after each other. Keep being a good friend. And recognise those people around you who love you and hold your hand. I'll see you soon.